today we're going to be restoring a pair of Lokes. These was his late granddad's. I really want to make a really good job for him. Hi guys, uh, this is the second half of the video. Darren has just cleaned uh, all the soles up for us. You can see we've got some nice shape back into the shoe. So what we're going to do next is uh, put the heel on um, and then we're going to finish uh, treating the uppers. We did a lot of cleaning work yesterday. Uh, so we're going to start building a patina back up with creams and waxes um, and then uh, we'll, we'll round it all up and do a comparison to uh, the one that we've not repaired and you can see what transformation it is even though it's an old vintage shoe. Right, okay, so we'll, we'll carry on. Um, we've pre-glued this heel. Okay, so we've reactivated the glue with heat. I'm just going to pop that on there. Just make sure everything's nice and even. And then we'll go over to the press. Press it down. Right, so we're just going to press the heel on, and it is around just over 60 pounds per square inch. We've got a flat, flat plate on now. And that's just compressed all the gaps. Now we're going to nail it on from underneath. Okay, right, so we're now going to just drive the nails from the inside to attach it. And we're going to put about, I think, put seven. solidly on so we'll just clean that round and then put the top piece on and then we'll just start working on the uppers That's pitching okay now. Kept the original heel, got to tidy it around here a little bit. Obviously, pull all that in, finish the tops next, uh, and then uh, we'll, we'll do the sole and end the video. Okay, let's continue. Okay, so we'll now start working on the uppers for this friend of mine. This colour is uh, Sapphire Cognac. Is really close, and it, it's. I was going to say it's a bit like makeup, but I don't really know. But what it's doing is it's colouring the skin, putting a bit of pigment back into it, a bit of colour pigment, and uh, it'll get cream gives it like a depth of shine, and then we'll put some wax on. Really make it lessen. Just a leather good as well, cream. But we've already done some work on these, we've already cleaned them up and put some mink oil on. So the uppers, will, you'll see the difference, you'll see the difference when we compare the two.
guys, uh, this is the end uh, of the video of the project. Um, I think the customer's going to be really happy with the transformation. Obviously, he's got sentimental attachment as well, uh, which is always nice for a project for me as well. We've stripped these back, uh, taken the stitches out, and reshaped the insole, if you remember, because that would have had his granddad's footprint. So we've reshaped that so that um, it can be bedded back in to its new owner's foot shape. So we've renovated the uppers, put new laces in, new insock, JR random back soles, nice sharp edges. Um, <clears throat> so all the shapes back in. And we just do this so you can see the difference from start to finish. So as you can see, everything's in a lot better shape. Um, obviously we'll repair this, we're not going to send it back just like that. Um, so yeah, just want to thank everybody. Uh, if you like, subscribe because that really helps us and uh, smash the notification button, we'd be really grateful and we'll be doing a, another video for you real soon. Okay, thanks guys, thanks very much. Okay, we've re, -evac re evacuated. <laughs> right. Still smiling. I can see it smiles behind masks. Huh? Hey, hey! Obviously, there was granddad's footprint. Um, so, we've tried to just straighten that out a little bit. Um, and then. <laughs>